Hello, in this video I'll be talking about a fan theory I should have had a while ago. Can she ask you to predict the future? Well, I'll uh, try to explain my thoughts on that subject and those to advance in the story later. Bash it up, or if there's any fan that those did say, I'll talk about them also. First, we let me say that Forge did say once that she had a theory that she actually did its thoughts every now and again, but she isn't all knowing. While I do know what her thoughts say up the story has, let me say Dawn did show friends has ideas a few times in the past, so her words may be untainted itself. So for this all memory, they were in the show. The comments I never read, and whatever it said off show, by the death, I was only going to when needed. So let's start in PS if there is something in the show that I missed and you want to talk about, I may revisit this in the future. So that backs up so it's to see in the future. Number 1. The sister returning after a thousand years. Ever wonder why there are three legends on that memory? One legend tells how she actually did this with sister and stood her away forever in the moon. While another doesn't be so fully Tony on the illness day in a thousand years? People wrote that either made a good death or somebody saw into the future. Whether it was Celestia or not, I can't say, but it was just too good of a death to get though. Another lesson that tells about her eating pony since how not my night was started. Why was this session even made? Sure it led to fly out helping you and her pony go sucking up, which is a good reason why it was made of you to see the future. Number two. She needs for like to pony be on a task to make friends who not only met her as she was set on a preparations for the sun event, but who were also the builders of the other five elements. First we I know that does to the whole fate and destiny theory, but it just seems too yucky that each of the builders is just that pony for like needed to meet to set up on a preparations. Number three, so that she's not even fighting against her sister when she returns. My theory is that she was shoot away in the sun, that's that my moon's revenge for sending her to the moon. But if you time this scene from when that my moon's fate is appeared from the moon and Celestia's unveiling, there just isn't enough time at all for Not Moon to have fought with Celestia and shoot her away. Either she had to fight the attack or Celestia gave up without a fight and was shoot away willingly. Maybe because she had a lot of faith in Fortnite, but really, the first wheel would have been doomed if Fortnite didn't meet the other bearers as that she did. Celestia puts too much faith and wives on her night, which I may turn into later. Number 4. When Celestia appeared in it's about time after Tuesday morning started. Okay, why was Celestia here? What, did she wait the moon in this very room with this new Fortnite would be there at that exact time? Mama but wanted to say that. Number 5. Tainus babysitting Fire before she got her team on. First we, if a princess was babysitting her, how come Fire had it met Celestia before the summer sun event? Maybe that wasn't the first time she saw Celestia, but this other friend showed the topic of since Tainus was babysitting Fire before her team on appeared, was Celestia aware of Fire's power before her do it, Sam? Maybe or maybe not, but you can't deny the realness of a princess babysitting and almost had a sister to a blank point that Yada would become Celestia's personal student. If Celestia wasn't aware of Fire's great power before she died her team the mark, then this world really does have destiny and faith. But maybe it was Tainus who saw something special in her faith theory and told Celestia and since Sonny Alma was the captain of the wild doors, Fire's family may have had close ties to Celestia for a while. Number 6 and final, the whole past episodes. Okay, this is probably the biggest one and most hard to talk about. In this scene, as Celestia scenes, we see scenes from past episodes, and for I still we saw them as well. What is how he is this place, and why didn't he see past events like this? I think it is what Celestia does when she wants to know the future. But a friend once told me, during a talk we had, maybe this can only show the past, but my question is this. Why couldn't you use this place to see the future as well? Since it was never as plain as it Anyways, we can't fully decide what this race is, but the horror past episodes tend to worry back to the theory of Celestia seeing the future, or at the very least, this will watch Fire's every move, hence why she knew to send her letters back in the Ditto episode because she was watching her. And now for the third episode she thinks the theory. Number 1. If Celestia to see the future, why didn't she foresaw a sister to watch she didn't fly to stop it? This is a good one and can easily be summed up with this. No matter what she did, the future would either be the same or be worse, or missing with time always creates problems no matter what, or something on those lines. Look at the movie that I, well I can't recall its name, but when I do I'll post it over this screen. I once saw a movie with my family where I died, and so be those through time, either to the future or the past, which really made it hard for him and his wife to be together, but the tear found a way to destroy it. Anyways, that one scene when this time traveling saved him from a turret, he saw himself as, why can't you use that to save our mom? His answer was, no matter how many times I've fried it, always turned out the same. 
me no matter how many times he felt bad and tried to say someone dear, time kept letting the event happen, so time wouldn't let him save her. Something similar to have happened when Celeste yes, she tried to use her powers to see the future to save her sister. Number two. If Celeste didn't see the future, why would the thought of fans that the Tito Empire falling on the Teen Summer's world? Well, I can't fully say, we don't know if the Empire was even under Celeste and doing his watch during this time. Although someone even told her how much damage as she did, so let's say they wasn't aware of it until it was too late, and she was shot by his return. So maybe her power to see the future is only when she wants to, so she won't see the future of fans until she does do it for them. Number three. If Celeste had to see the future, why wasn't she aware that Tithorus was posing as Taden? Who says he wasn't aware of Tithorus? What was right? Were we the only pony that didn't realize the sudden change of behavior? Sonny Elmer had his dues of being sort of brainwashed and being framed, but Celestia, who should be very close to us, should have known. I'll get into the rest of this in a second. Number four and final. If Celeste had to see the future, why does he have the same needs nearly take over and take to in the tomb? Let me go into this with more details. This will best up this theory by how it happened. Celeste is selling Tithorus to a lady to do and was utterly defeated. Now, don't you think she was defeated all too easily? This is referred to as ruler of the sun and day, a point that had like a thousand years of running by herself, and you're telling me that she was defeated so easily? So the you love know, the power is way and all, but when you're this was version of God, even the Dwight gods, you can't be taken down this easily unless the other point was already at even enough power as you, which to very well be through. She said the main shit to get the element and use them against crystals. But there's a problem. The elements were behind the door that only she can open. The same friend from above, I think, said that the master door lot she actually had on the door has a safety measure that will allow others to open it. What I would do is did the whole purpose of that master door lot, wouldn't it? So we thought they were selling a mission that was failed before they even thought it. The main sense was Tauster and says set up to Kane and Sweet Dory signing armor and using the love to defeat the same things. It was my personal thought on this whole scene that packed this very up. So that she knew that she was proposing as teenage but didn't do anything about it. She knew the same things were going to attack and get through the and knew the means to get the ailments, but sent them anyway. And the reason because she wanted Tidus and Sunny Norma to defeat them. She looked at the possible futures and what would happen depending on what she did, and the best possible future that took the come out of this was getting the same thing taped over, getting the means to leave the room so everyone else to get out of the room, but knowing that there was with flat Tadence forcing her to stay. She knew the main sense would fail and it brought back with Firelight with free Tadence who was restored Sonny Norma's mind and using the love to fail the same things. And then again, Tadence and Sonny Norma self were even bitter and her faithful duty was only very pleasant and about not doubting herself and pursuing her instincts. So that she had had everyone in this along the path she needed them to, that's why she also threw a Firelight and why? Because she knew by any for beating her mind, resorting in every room resetting her, Tithorus was sent her to wherever she sent the real Tadence to, and the process freeing her. Even if she wasn't aware of Tithorus till after she was free Tadence, she had quite made a big scene because she knew it would result in her being taken to where Tadence was being kept so she could be free. This also goes for the Tesla Empire. Why was it that you put so many words that they just to test Friday to see if she's ready for Princess Hood? So that you should have known that failing would be sort in there for a deal being on the team so much will and Friday and her friends probably killed. He had to kill the former ruler in order to take over in the first place. As we never see said ruler. The amount of things he put on fight was dead, but since Philly wanted us to yet to make saving the entire empire a test as if she failed, just darkness and she would need to do it anyways, but Fry may have been killed or was. You should know by the amount of fanfics about Sunblood. The only possible way for Celestia to have known Fry would pass if if she knew what would happen. If Celestia thinks she defused it, then she has way too much faith. As you from Star Wars said to the Emperor, your faith is your weakness. Even seeing the future, this is wasn't the right test she needed. If Celestia and Yuna went to the Empire, sure they would have found it to the heart, as if the Empire was under the watch, they would have known about it and found it pretty fast. But, if they did, someone would have been killed. Yep. If Celestia looked into the future, she would have known by sending the pride, the water defense would fall, we would put somewhere within the wings of the heart's pure light, which would in him, maybe being killed. If it was used while he was outside the Empire, it wouldn't have had that effect, and he would have enough time to get away. So two possible events where Celestia and the other events happened, so the best possible outcome would happen. But still, Celestia, you were just wrong about making this a test. So we have two events where Celestia was just not the worst he needed to be. 
But in the process, good outcomes were made, which may have not happened at all if Celestia did anything herself. She needed Fallout to be the one to do these. Again, she has way too much faith, which Unit 3 does not share. What means that either she's unaware of Celestia's power to see the future, or she just wants to act like the world should, with nothing to sense. But Tana shows you that even though she has faith in the main set, she knows when the moment calls for her to act and not put too many things at risk, while Celestia just hangs back letting her student do it all. Why does Celestia have such faith in Fallout? Yeah, she's afraid pony that may be to her someday, but her fate has put too many rides that they don't have to with The only way I can forgive her for these words is that she could see the future. Pride had too many nothing to say it be. Said that that's not my move with Tony, even though another death and said she was shut away forever, knowing the center of his back with Pride was distorted. The fans of the same scene attacked and the Central Empire test and a French test basically a blank blank that just happened to possibly be no air. Something's just missing here. But can Celestia really see into the future? I don't know, probably not, but you can't deny the moments that can point to a scene in the future. So, as, so if Celestia can see the future, what did this mean? It did mean she used it to keep a fresh way safe, or to know what fair to have happened in order to get the right outcome that she wants. Another possibility is that Celestia uses this power of seeing the future to keep herself empowered. Think about it. Another reason why Celestia couldn't say her sister is that she didn't want to save her. History is written by the fittest, isn't it? So that's it is the only really point besides Juno that remembers what really happened during the Nightmare Moon thing. And isn't it funny that Nightmare Knight took the Nightmare Moon as a pointy needle route? Why didn't Celestia, if she wanted her sister remembered, fix that lesson? If Celestia after that event felt the free pain and loneliness, why didn't she or have someone make the lesson that remembers Juno as a good pony? Why are the only lessons that we know of Tell Juno as she does a pony that wanted to rule fresh with to her eating ponies. You would think that after he was so close to you would go and fix this set into what her sister isn't remembered as an evil pony, right? Not that she wanted Yuna to be remembered as an evil to what their pony. Either because she knew it would lead to the offense that we saw or so that she had died. She passed down fate yet since the father said to keep her past as Yuna from being remembered and only her as that Mel Moon will be remembered. And when she finally returned and onto these fault legends, Celestia did something that made Yuna think they were full and she was even sadder about it. And whenever a pony becomes a threat to a phone so that with Yuna, Celestia brainwashes them or shows them away, hence why we never die a fact on Sunset Shimmer, who knows what would happen at thought she'd be refreshed with her. She never fought up for when she didn't get what she wanted and felt that she would have liked, she flew bitter and told, as Celestia said. She never said anything about her past other than being a mock student that couldn't be replaced. Maybe, just maybe. Celestia is the real feeling of the show, and her heart's hardest sound would be to the fetal tester and mother fetal, a pony that keeps herself in power by using the future to get rid of any threat, she must defeat and overthrow Celestia herself in order to free up her from a thought they will But well, that's just one way to look at it. If Celestia can see the future, maybe she does it for the best of a fresh But well, sometimes the worst possible thing comes out of best intentions. But this is just a theory. I for one am hoping she can see the future as she would give Celestia too much power. I merely wanted to sell this theory I died a while ago. I bet they did no more time at this point with it, but just keep in mind. You can't deny what the show is pointing to, either on purpose or by mistake. The hints are very set out of earth. Anyways, I better end this video here. Thanks for watching and feel free to comment and express why you feel this for you if you have a feel you want to talk about such as. Until my next video, see ya. And let's hope she never puts down the future scenes that are showing very down.